I point out the irony that someone who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist who dressed up in hideous racist costumes so many times he says he can't remember them all should then be the arbiter on what constitutes hate. Why doesn't he, what he should actually do is look into his own heart and ask himself why he was such a hateful racist for despite his enormous personal privileges of a multi-million dollar trust fund, being the son of a prime minister, uh, growing up in mansions, traveling the world, why he had so much hate in his art that he was uh, such an awful racist. And what he should do is actually explain where that ugliness came from. And maybe in that way, rather than through coercion, he could uh, help in, uh, us all in the fight against real hate. Pierre Poilievre responds to accusations of hypocrisy by redirecting attention to Justin Trudeau's past actions asserting a contradiction with the Prime Minister's current anti-hate speech efforts. This move aims to expose potential double standards. Poilievre emphasizes individual accountability, endorsing personal responsibility and duty, aligning with democratic values. He challenges the concept of coercion in addressing genuine hate, reflecting skepticism towards extensive government intervention. This stance underscores the belief in personal contemplation over legislated solutions, critiquing external influences on individual growth. Poilievre questions. Trudeau's commitment to combating hate, citing the Prime Minister's privileged background as a challenge to his authenticity in this endeavor. <laughs> 